Hey bitches. What's good? So in this video we'll be discussing the infamous BTS storyline confirmed by Big Hit themselves in their latest webtoon collaboration with the artist Liko. When I first heard about this storyline I was shook because it was honestly one of the best marketing strategies I've ever seen. Because in the K-pop industry, especially when BTS first debuted, the competition was and still is very real, so in order for your group to get popular you need something that stands out and individualizes yourself from everyone else. And this storyline really does the job. This story is very interesting and so well faceted that I wouldn't be surprised if Big Hit hired an actual writer for it. Okay, so now let's get into the storyline. The story begins with Jin having flashbacks about what happened during his earlier years with the other six boys. The seven of them were always troublemakers and would be after school together in detention, where they would always have fun and hang out with one another. Jin then proceeds to go to the gas station that Namjoon used to work at but one of the employees informs Jin that Namjoon is in jail. Once at the police station, Jin visits RM and explains everything. What apparently happened was that as RM was pumping the gas of some rich guy, he accidentally elbowed the side view mirror of the guy's car and he got mad and started to complain about how expensive the car was and asked for his money back but RM refused. So the rich guy ends up running him over with the car. Then, they both end up at the police station and the officer insists that they do a settlement, but RM refuses because he can't afford to and he ends up in jail. Then, after explaining Jin asks what has happened to the others, and RM says that Jungkook and Suga died, J-Hope is in the hospital, and he doesn't know what happened to Jimin and V then, after Jin finishes visiting RM, he notices a group of reporters around V questioning him about killing his own father. Afterwards, Jin goes to the beach that he and the others used to hang out on, remersing over what had happened and some sort of being or higher power asks him if he really wants to save everyone by going back to the past. Of course, Jin says yes and the spirit grants Jin the ability to travel through time. Then, when Jin wakes up again, he is back in the past to the gas station to the same night that Namjoon had beef with the rich guy. After, he leaves the gas station he drives and then suddenly hits Jungkook. And as the police and pedestrians come to help them Jin Rae tries again but this time instead of running Jungkook over, Jungkook ends up committing suicide. Jin wakes up again and starts to freak out about the spirit in his head and then finally realizes that he has acquired the ability to travel through time. After realizing this, Jin decides to use his powers in order to save his friends from their fates. This time he tries to have a conversation with RM to help RM when the rich guy comes. But this time when the rich guy aggravates RM, Jin helps him by telling the guy to take the money and leave the gas station before they start to fight. Next. Jin tries to prevent Jungkook from committing suicide by visiting his cram school to get a hold of him, but Jungkook isn't there. Meanwhile, RM finds Jungkook across the street from him but loses him in a crowd of people. Then, Jin finds Jungkook standing on the ledge of the rooftop of the building and runs up to the rooftop to find him but when he gets there Jungkook is gone. In reality, Jungkook is actually walking on the street like he was before and runs into two guys and they start to beat up Jungkook. Jungkook then proceeds to go back to the rooftop to commit suicide, but RM and Jin thankfully are able to catch him in time. Meanwhile, Yoon ends up attempting suicide by burning his house down while he's still in it, but when Jungkook, Jin, and Namjoon go to hospital to meet him, Yoon has died. Jin wakes up again, but immediately travels back in time again, and before Jungkook can get into a fight with the two guys, Jin saves him by grabbing him inside of an alley. Then, Jin goes to try to save Yui as well from setting fire to his apartment. Meanwhile, Jungkook and Namjoon go to pick up V from the police station, but in the end Jin doesn't make it in time to save Yui. As a result, Jin goes again and helps Yui from the start by asking Jungkook from the beginning and asks him if he is in contact with Yui, but Jungkook says no. Then, Namjoon pulls up next to the school and tells Jin that he doesn't have any leads on Yui's whereabouts, so the four of them, Jin, Jungkook, V, and Namjoon, go to look for Yuni to save him before he burns down the apartment that night. But as they go to find Yuni's apartment they crash into an 18-wheeler and they are badly injured. Jin wakes up once more, but before he goes back to the past to try again, he tries to create a game plan, first, break up the fight between RM and the rich guy, save Jungkook from committing suicide, then go and find Yuni's apartment to prevent him from burning it down. This time, Jungkook goes and calls Yuni, who is at a bar, to find him, 
But Yumi hangs up the phone. Then, it is revealed that Yumi's dad didn't want him involved in music because his mom, who also played piano, committed suicide. Then, when Yumi goes back to his apartment he starts to burn his sheet music while his apartment burns down in the process. Jin is finally able to rescue Yumi by axing his front door down and running with him out of the apartment complex and Jin takes him to the hospital. However, Yumi still thinks that Jin should have just let him there to die. Then, a month later, V almost gets caught spray painting a wall but is rescued from the police by Nanjun, who lets V stay the night at his place. Meanwhile, Jaimin is in some sort of medical facility where he meets a kid that suddenly collapses in his lap. Jaimin gets worried thinking that something is wrong, but J-Hope reassures Jaimin by saying he is asleep. They then start to talk about their earlier lives. J-Hope was put in a hospital because he collapsed one day in the middle of the street while Jaimin was put into the same hospital by his parents because of an event that happened when he was younger. So that's all for part 1. I didn't want this video to be too long so I've decided to split this video into two parts with 8 chapters of the webtoon each. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like comment and subscribe and remember to stay snatched.